So, you shared with us yesterday, 70%, so this is going to be an uphill battle. So today, I guess, like, what happened? You know, I think today, we all knew, like, for me, so, guess what's been going on is I had a bad Achilles that just flared up on me, like, really, like, after USA's, like, it was just and so unfortunate because I felt like USA's were kind of coming back, it was like coming back to fitness, I wasn't feeling any pain, and even maybe a week after um, championships, I really wasn't feeling much pain, but it's just like, I don't know where the Achilles one day just really flared up on me, so we just been having a lot of hard days, um, as you can imagine, and not being able to... Um, run and for me right now going back to back has been really really difficult like I can do one day one day off one day on so yesterday the plan was just to go out as easy as possible to conserve as much as possible don't do too much because um, you're going to need it for today because um, you know you just been having difficulty going back to back um, that was the plan but unfortunately it just really wasn't there today honestly I didn't feel much pain at all just it just wasn't there <laughs> Yesterday you also kind of mentioned like you contemplated not racing here and then ultimately made the decision. What factored into that? I mean, how much of that is you and just like the decision to like, I want to do this? You know, you know, I think I'll give it to me and my coach. He, of course, really wanted me to do it. He just really was telling me, I think you'll be okay. You always kind of pull through. We've been here before kind of situation. Like, I think you'll be okay. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, maybe by the time you, you actually have to race, it'll just have been enough days to where it'll calm down. And uh, yeah, I guess the, the extra little part was me too, just wanting to do it and feeling like I made the team and I have a right to kind of be there. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick, how do you kind of reflect on all the progress you've made um, you know, throughout your career? How do you kind of reflect on and look back at like all the amazing moments that you've kind of had through your career? It has been a lot of amazing moments. You know, I don't think I really have any too, too disappointing moments, to be honest. I think the first time I ever got silver was well, not the first time, but when I got silver in 2017, I remember that being devastating. <laughs> and then, you know, that's, that doesn't even compare to right now. But, you know, just kind of count your blessings and see them as blessings in those moments. And that's what I'm going to, that, that's what that lesson or this lesson is teaching me right now. Is that I've accomplished so much. And even today, I just made it here. And that's a blessing in itself. Do you have, like, a most memorable race or memorable moment that you really look back on and, like, as, like, a defining moment of your career, whether that's, you know, Moscow or whether that's, like, changing coaches or Olympic gold? Like, do you have, like, a m really memorable moment that sticks out to you? Honestly, the mom, don't kill me for saying this, but one day after, <laughs> no, seriously, she knows the story, but, you know, it was after the 2012 Olympic trials, and I was, yeah, 2012 Olympic trials in Eugene, I had just finished, I was out the first round at the, the trials, and then I, my mom called me on the phone and she's like, what happened? And like, she didn't mean anything by it, she literally just meant like, how did the race go? But for me, I took it as like, what are you doing? Like, you are, you're better than this, like you can do so much more than this. And that year, the next year in 2013, I won US Championship, so um, that really just kind of, that one little line that she said harmlessly that just like defeated me in the moment made me want to be so much better. Did you imagine, you know, coming out of NCAAs where I guess on paper it wasn't like the glory NCAA career in a sense, yeah. but did you imagine that you'd be at this point where you've had such longevity? No, you know, I think really though in NCAAs, I, I always kind of thought that, that this was the next step. Although it wasn't going 100% as planned, I think as a freshman going into college, I just naturally assumed because up until that point, I'd always made like jails, Olymp um, junior teams, the youth teams. So I just thought senior teams was the next step, and that it didn't really pan out that way. So in the moment, no. Um, I mean, in the moment, I kind of thought that was the next step, but as it didn't happen, so no. <laughs> And last question, kind of a little different, but how have you been able to balance? You've dipped into the 400 a couple times, um, even more recently, but curious how you've balanced 400 meter hurdle running and then also 400 meter running on the training and things like that. Is that you, Um, uh, you know, it goes, they're, they're kind of one and the same. They really are. There is a different race, different beast, but I always love to the 400 hurdles. So for me, training for the 400 hurdles has been always so much easier than the 400. I literally hate the 400. Everybody knows that. It's not a, it's not a secret. Um, running it without hurdles, I hate it. But it was so necessary as for me when I got to this next level and wanted to get even to that next level to break that 52 barrier. I was like, I need to, I need to tackle the thing I hate. So that's really what it was, just a 
my love for the 400 hurdles and willing to hurt in the 400. There you go. Well, I'm really proud of you regardless of the Thank you today. so much. I appreciate yeah. that.